Hi, I'm Vaishu and I'm an architect. This is Marcel and Tatiana. They both live in a beautiful apartment in Munich and so fortunate for them, the rental comes with a really large hobby room in the basement. However, currently the hobby room is just used as a storage space. So this is where I come in. In this video, I'll show you how I plan to transform their basement storage room into a very, very cool and functional hobby room. So the room is around 18 square meters with laminate wooden floors, white painted walls, a ceiling high of 2.3 meters, windows at one end of the room, a radiator underneath the windows and box up pipes on the ceiling. Currently is used only as a storage room, but our mission is to transform it into a very creative and fun space that serves three purposes. First, a craft station, second a podcast studio and third a green screen area for filming. This is because Tatiana really enjoys art and craft and she needs a designated space for her creative projects that doesn't mess up the rest of her apartment. Marcel and Tatiana also have their own podcast show and then third Marcel is really into cosplay so it would be quite cool for him to have a space where he can put on different sort of outfits and costumes with a green screen in the back to make some very cool videos. So first things first, to kick things off, I went round to their apartment where we discussed their desires and their needs and I got a good glimpse of their apartment's vibe. This helped me understand their aesthetics, style and interest. Then we walked down into the basement where I whipped out my trusty laser measurer to get precise measurements. I also found out the location of electrical sockets and noted any special features in the space. We also made a note of the existing furniture they had because it makes sense to try to incorporate as much as possible into the new setup, you know, for budget and environmental purposes. Afterwards, Tatiana also shared with me her Pinterest board, which is filled with images of the kind of styles that she likes and it has some really nice ideas and I think we can definitely use that as part of the design. When I got home, I was armed with the measurements and inspiration gathered during the home visit. I then meticulously modeled the entire space. I made sure to capture every wall dimension, ceiling height, door and window placement, and even those uh, charming pipes that's on the ceiling. And the result is a very accurate 3D model that would help guide us in selecting the perfect furniture and to plan the layout of the space. So initially my friends wanted to place the wooden tables for their craft station kind of near the entrance. However, after some thoughts, I felt like it wouldn't be actually the ideal place because I don't think it's very comfortable to have your back so close to the door and it doesn't feel good to walk into something directly in your way as it could make the room feel more cramped and obstructed. So instead, I would suggest putting the craft station at the far end of the room underneath the windows. This location would provide ample natural light to make the desk, we could use the existing IKEA Alex drawer units they had as support for the table and create a custom tabletop that fits the space perfectly. And to ensure stability, we can then add a metal leg in the middle to stop it from wobbling. For seating, I would put two height adjustable industrial style wooden stools. I think that would fit great in the space. Additionally, we can install shelves on one of the walls for Tatiana to store her craft items and equipment when they are not in use. I think we can install three different pegboards above the table to hang various craft tools and equipment that you need very frequently. And for the remaining wall space, I think we can cover it with cork so you can pin things like notes, photos, inspiring images on the wall. The color of the cork and the naturalness of the material will add warmth to the space. And near the window, I think I would also hang one or two plants just to bring a little bit of life to the space. There are two metal pipes running up the wall next to the desk, which I think we can paint red. I would also paint the radiator on the wall underneath the desk, navy. As for the box that pipes on the ceiling, Marcel had the idea of painting it grey so it looks like these metallic industrial pipes that people in superhero movies or action movies tend to crawl through. So I think we can achieve that very easily and it'll make it look quite cool. And lastly, while we're at it, might as well paint the window frames black. And that is that corner sorted. For the podcast space, we'll need two comfortable armchairs for Marcel and Tatiana to sit and converse. I think we can place them here, along with their existing red 
black coffee table. To make the area visually pleasing, let's paint the wall behind the armchairs navy and maybe hang three large artworks that reflect their podcast topic. So when they're filming the podcast, maybe people who are watching the video can immediately get a vibe of what their topic is about. We can also install a neon sign with a podcast name on the wall instead of artwork in the future. Adding a rug to the floor will make the space much cozier and improve the acoustics in the room. I particularly like this playful and bold black and white rug from Ikea and I think it goes really well with a colourful design scheme. However, the larger rug version might be visually overwhelming so I would go for the smaller Ikea size. The smaller rug version, however, actually is a little bit too small to nicely zone the podcasting area and to be big enough for the two armchairs to sit on comfortably. So I would layer another larger rug underneath, perhaps a natural material like jute to bring some organic, chilled vibe to the space. And I think there's enough space opposite the armchairs to set up studio lights and a camera for recording the podcast show. On the opposite wall, I would set up a green screen. There is more than enough space in front of it to accommodate a camera and studio lights. Behind the green screen, I would cover the entire wall in cork because cork acts as a very good sound absorber. And adjacent to the green screen and armchairs, we can put their existing Calax storage units for their studio equipment. Additionally, I would hang a mirror above this small Calax unit so they can check their appearance and make sure every single hair is in place before they start filming. Marcel also has a mannequin already in the basement, which he uses sometimes for his cosplay costumes. So I would put it in the corner as a decorative object. And if there are a lot of cosplay costumes to store in the future, I think they can also replace this larger Calyx unit with a wardrobe. And here is the final result. What do you think? I think it displays a lot of character and playfulness, but is also completely functional. Although what I've shared in this video so far is just a design concept, I had so much fun working on this space. I hope you also enjoyed the video and maybe got some inspiration for your own hobby room in the future. If you like content like this, make sure to stay subscribed and uh, maybe I'll make a video showing you the real life results in the future. Thanks and see you again soon. Bye!